The Onion Router is an anonymized way to, to communicate and explore the internet. And like many developments that have occurred online, they begin in military science. And you're gonna see this as a theme throughout our presentation, but the US Navy actually developed TOR. And, and what they were really trying to do initially was have it so that if you were looking at another nation or another company's information, that you didn't end up on their traffic logs. So let me explain to you what that means in this next graph. So in order to help explain why this was relevant, let me kind of show you this graphic. So here is you or, or someone in your house, your kid on their computer looking at CNN. If you're a forensic provider or you're someone who is doing marketing or traffic analysis, I can roughly see you at your home or place of business, wherever it would be, looking at CNN. And CNN can see roughly who you are and you can see who CNN is. The problem with that is if you're trying to spy on someone, you don't want them to know that you're trying to gather that intelligence. So I will give you an off-target example. A friend of mine recently was working at a company and he believed that the company uh, may be under investigation by the SEC. He had access to their uh, web logs. So when he went on the web logs and he saw all the different people that were coming to check out his company, one of the things that he noticed was the Department of Justice SEC investigatory people actually almost exactly had been perusing and downloading stuff off their website. So there's an example of where the government shouldn't have done that. They're giving an early indication or a tip to the person they're looking at on that information. So they tried to resolve the issue by packetizing the, this information in multiple encrypted layers of what they call the onion. So as you're viewing and as that traffic is moving around, it's not going from a one-to-one -one relationship. Rather, it's bouncing all over the world, eight to 10 different relays. The information is packetized, it's encrypted. And so getting a view on the traffic analysis on Tor is very, very difficult, in some cases, theoretically impossible. So if you looked at that scenario today, the same teen looking at a site his parents don't want him to look at, he's bouncing between all these different relays and nodes on the Tor network, and as he's moving between all of those, the, the information that he's receiving, how he's receiving it, is anonymized and obscured throughout this entire Tor process. And even more so, if there is a server of information on the Tor network that's being viewed. So that scenario would be, and we'll, we're gonna get into a lot of detail on this, a drug market selling information or selling drugs onto the Tor network and a buyer viewing it. So both the seller and the buyer are more anonymized and obscured in this network.